sunny state. I could have stayed home and froze my butt off. Running 15 miles in this, yuck. Make sure you suit up. Yeah, when you gear up, gear up. <laughs> I know uh, some commercial spear fishermen all up and down this coast that when they're out there shooting amberjacks on the commercial level, they'll get great whites come in and check to see what they're doing. So hopefully this wreck a little further offshore might be a little bit of deeper water, a little bit bigger fish. It's gonna be slow. It's gonna be choppy and wet. Only one way to find out is to go and check it out. So that's what we're gonna do. What is that? Sound. That is a lot of static from our radio tag. Is that good or bad? Are you confident that uh, both technologies are working pretty well? I am. I think at this point, we're ready for a shark, so. Now, you look at this and I see the spot tag. This will not stay on the shark, unlike the spot tag that we will put on the dorsal fin that will allow us to track the shark like we track Mary Lee, like we track Jeannie, and like we track all the South African sharks. Right, as you know, the accelerometer stores so much data that basically has to be stored to memory. We have to get it back. And uh, which we did successfully in Cape Cod, but you remember it was just this radio transmitter that we were using to huh. find the needle in the haystack, so. Yeah, I remember it well. You're gonna know every movement this shark makes after we tag it. Finally watched Jaws? Yes, I did. Let me tell you, America, I do not like the movie. But why? It's a classic. I, it is a classic, apparently, but I just, I don't know. Too much suspense. You don't see the, sh it was like an hour and That's the suspense. I'm not a the big, tell me what's going on. I thought it was a barracuda <laughs> at first. <laughs> nip, nip, nip. Yeah, I was like, man, but then the shark comes out and I'm like, oh, okay. So it was a shark after all. Got to remember that up in Cape Cod, we had so many days we were just like, oh God, there's no way we're gonna get this done. You know, never gonna happen. When they show up, all that changes. Here come our boys. And they're coming right at us. We got two squadrons looking for us while they train. And there's 80 of those guys out there today. It's amazing, you know, we used to roll into places, it was just kind of like us on a little boat. And now we have the whole community behind us. 